Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena. Today we're gonna be playing with some Brute Symmetry deck, which I kinda didn't play for a very long time, but and my opponent will first play me with Machine Gun Nuts, obviously very annoying play to make, and I don't, I mean, I think I'm gonna just play a Blitz on that. There's no reason to commit more mana than that. Either way, we're gonna be playing with a Brute Symmetry deck, which I haven't played in a very long time, and this time actually I will be playing it with a Shield Skeleton. So recently I've had a game against uh, a pretty decent player, I forgot his nickname by now, but he was playing this variation I'm playing today, and I kinda figured that actually playing a Shield Skeleton's variation instead of just regular... Um, Skeleton Horde will be actually beneficial for my performance, so yeah, I figured just why don't I try this? I'm gonna get my symmetry behind the brute. While it tanks for both tower and the cannon, this bomber should be dead, and that's gonna be a lot of damage from the skeleton, so yeah. Unfortunately, uh, Fabri, who's gonna be our first opponent in this video, didn't have the sufficient defense against our machine gun, so I mean. We didn't have the sufficient defense against his machine gun, but he didn't have the sufficient defense against uh, our uh, symmetry. So that's gonna be a good thing going for us. I'm gonna actually play gunner after the machine gun lock so I can preserve my gunner and hold it for a counter push. Archers fortunately won't even connect on the gunner, so it will be extra difficult to remove it from the board. Unfortunately, Gunner actually will... Yeah, it will come in front of the brute, so that's gonna be this unfor unfortunate scenario. I'm gonna play some Devils and the Cemetery, and he chooses to play Bullets on the Devils, so that's gonna be an interesting choice, to say the least. I'm not gonna complain about it, though. I'm gonna play Brute at the opposite side, so his... So his uh, machine gun will have some troubles at eliminating it. Obviously, bullets come for the archers because it's pretty much the best response that he has for my symmetry, and we want to minimize those. So right now I have a brute as the uh, follow-up card, so I'm gonna play symmetry and play the brute last second, so he'll be uh, as much out of the position as he physically can be. I'm gonna play bullets here. I don't think we're getting the three star in this game, but two stars is definitely enough and yeah, uh, many people like this guy will be very frustrated uh, from uh, losing against this deck because it's pretty frustrating deck to lose against, uh, but uh, that's pretty much why it works. You still can get very cheesy wins at with shield skeletons, I would say it's more solid than ever. So yeah, let's get into game number one. Let's jump to the game number two. And we're in the game number two against. Uh, I believe it's a reference to a video game made by Supercell, which is called Boom Beach. But uh, yeah, the beach that they meant was definitely different than this one. So we're gonna just be playing some video games. My opponent starts pretty aggressively, but I've managed to kinda shut it down pretty swiftly. I would love to get a Cemetery as a next card, but unfortunately, sometimes it's just not the case. I'm gonna play Gunner against this ne Necromancer, and since he plays Necromancer, you better be sure it's time for the Cemetery. And we're gonna just going in. Like I've said, this deck will be very annoying for opponents to deal with. And if I cannot deal with that, uh, they will die. They will die instantly. It's not like you'll just tickle them uh, till the end of time, like with many cycle decks I promote on this channel. No, no, absolutely not. This deck is a beatdown. If you don't have a response, you will just die. And unfortunately. When we take a one tower, I would love to have a skeleton horde because it's way more oppressing than shield skeletons. But I'm gonna do this play anyway because it's a fundamentally very difficult uh, push to stop from my opponent. And this brute will still bring some value. I, I would say these devils may have been unnecessary. He actually held it very well. I I'll have to give props to him because unfortunately shield skeletons are way more solid. Uh, in most scenarios, you will come up, uh, uh, come up with, and 
Uh, Skeleton Horde is definitely way better when your opponent has lost the tower already. So we're gonna just cycle gunner in the back. There's no need to rush with a symmetry and the brute in the pocket, but we'll definitely look forward into that play. I actually he's not playing anything, so I have no reason uh, to believe that this play isn't good. I'm gonna play bullets here to kill the can a bit faster and pretty much guarantee myself a tower. Very cool stuff and. Now we already have two towers, no pun intended, please do not leave any jokes about 9-11 in the comment section, uh, I'm gonna get a kill on this necromancer, very cool to see, I'm gonna play uh, devils on these phones, I'm gonna play blitz here, and I think it's high time I'm gonna just go for my flag attack, which is a brute cemetery. And right now he uses Necromancer once again on the wrong troop. I don't think he's holding it. And, uh, that's gonna be a second GG's in a row in this video. We're gonna take the very, I would say, easy dub and jump to the game number three. And we're in another game of this video. It's gonna be against the Vensa Zabiak. Maybe that's how it's pronounced. Either way, he's gonna be having a 27 medals. And he's already attacking us very early on. Uh, by the first looks, I would uh, say that he's using a Splemetry, but obviously the decks may vary. I'm gonna play Brute and a Gunner, and I don't think I'm gonna pull the trigger with a Symmetry. I'm gonna just keep this as a little surprise, because yeah, he can be having a very good response against that. And there we go, he is playing uh, Bomberman, which is, which is gonna be a decent uh, response against... Uh, the cards we already had on the field. I'm gonna play Longsword to neutralize uh, these twins. That's gonna be one shot, that's gonna be two shots. Unfortunately, Bomberman will get a crap ton of value on our troops. I'm gonna play Shield Skeletons here to uh, minimize the damage we take. I think I could have even played Bullets to absolutely minimize it, but there's no reason to do so. Like I've said, uh, usually it's better practice to just play troops instead of spells, but in this case you can argue that bullets were as valid uh, of a play as uh, shield skeletons, uh, just because you basically do the same thing and both cards do not counter push. So I'm gonna play bullets here, there's no reason not to, like I've said before, he's gonna get my brute very low once again, so I don't think it's a good time to pull the trigger, and yeah, he's just gonna be playing a... Uh, I would say very annoying defense to be honest, but at the same time he's just playing a very good boom arena so far. We're gonna go with the shield skeletons with this uh, gunner and they brute with a uh, with our devils to just split lanes and test his uh, defensive skills. One devil will actually sleep and deal some damage, but as you know it's not enough because uh, my deck is kind of a more of a beatdown deck so you don't rely on a chip damage. But uh, if you get it, it is pretty much always welcome, as always. I'm gonna play Longsword in the back, there's no reason not to. Once again, I'm gonna be playing Devils here, since he has played a Bomberman on the opposite side. I'm gonna just play uh, uh, Devils on the other end, that's gonna be actually a very fine, uh, fine trait right here, because he kinda has to overcome it. He's gonna be playing a skill before on my Brute, and I'm gonna play a Brute with the Symmetry on his tower. I would say this uh, T-Rex was a very cool card, because it will counter push at the end of the day, but it wasn't enough to stop our push out, which he kinda had to address, so I think we kinda can close the game right here. I'm gonna just play Brute and Shield Skeletons, there's no reason not to, and that's gonna be another GG's in the books. And like I've said, many people including this uh, guy, will be very toxic towards you if you win with the, against them with this deck, because, well, it, it's kinda toxic, not gonna lie, you're just playing Brute, you're just playing Symmetry, and it's definitely way easier than defending these uh, two-card combos. So yeah, that's gonna be the game number three. Let's jump to the game number four real quick. And in the game number four, we get ops. Obviously, we are gonna throw a nice play for good measures. I'm gonna also throw ops because it's a player that kinda gimmicks around the uh, mistake of the developer in early days. He didn't spell oops correctly, so it was uh, kinda funny to see that. Uh, 
community kind of reacted very positively, even though it was a clear blunder by him. I'm gonna play actually very aggressively right here, because I don't think he has good way to defend that. Actually, he had an absolutely perfect way to defend that, because the longsword went in front of the brute. Might have to add, so he's gonna be having a very cool defense right here. I'm gonna play Gunner. Uh, and he's gonna actually go in, so that's gonna be a very scary push for me to defend. I didn't think that he has mana for general, but it looks like he's gonna be having uh, way more mana than I anticipated him to have. So yeah, that's gonna be a very lot of damage, which I didn't expect him uh, to get, uh, for the very simple reason. He... I, th I thought he's not gonna be having that much of a mana, but probably I kinda underestimated ghosts, so like... Underestimating ghosts is a very common trope in my games, mostly because uh, it's just a 3 mana card and what can it possibly do. Also, oh, I, I know where the missing mana went, he absolutely got a, a fabulous flying bomb, that's why I shouldn't be that confident in my uh, pushout, so yeah, I'm gonna just play Gunner here to delete uh, his uh, Super Devil, there's no reason not to, as always. He's gonna be playing Necromancer, but it's not gonna end well for him. I'm gonna delete it as soon as it appears on the map. And right now I will have a very advanced brute, which I'm very happy with. This brute will get one hit, maybe two. That's obviously not enough for what we need, but uh, at the same time, we'll now have to just take all the damage we can. I'm gonna play. Okay, he's just deleting my longsword. Yeah, that's gonna be a very nice play to from him. Unfortunately, he's making the use out of this footman very nicely because, uh, frankly, I uh, cannot just eliminate them with spells because my spells aren't just equipped to do so. Right, so I'm gonna just play longsword here and we kinda have to make a comeback because my opponent uh, playing today very well. What else can I say? I'm gonna be playing... Uh, Right now it's a cemetery. I think it's high time we do this one. And yeah, I think it's just a bit too late because uh, even though he doesn't have a Necromancer, I mean now he has, and I activated the Viking Tower, it doesn't really matter at the end. He played it very well and once again I kinda miscounted his mana. That's, that's a very weird thing for me to do because I was pretty sure that he couldn't play the general at the bridge, but, but, but he could. And now it out very sucked, so yeah. That's gonna be minus 16, unfortunately, and uh, without further ado, we're gonna jump just to the game number 5 of today's video. And the last game of today's video will be against Migalito, who will be having a 20 medals, and from his first two Kyar cards being played, I presume he's gonna be playing a default deck, so I'm gonna just play Brute in the back, sacrifice all the damage. Right now I am uh, already a 2 mana down, but with uh, many cards on the board. Definitely good position uh, for any player of any level. I'm gonna just play Symmetry here and try to get a cancel on the skill to her, and I think the game already uh, can end here if he doesn't defend the Symmetry, because that's gonna be tower down. Yeah, there we go, Longsword connects, it wasn't actually the, I mean, Cemetery obviously was a huge threat, but it was the Longsword that kinda saved the day right here, and we're gonna already be uh, up a tower, very cool thing to see. Gonna be playing a Viking, which I think is a interesting play, to say the least, because I can just kite it with my Brute, play a Gunner to kill it, and from this point forward I can just... Uh, launch a very devastating attack. There we go. He even uses a cyclone which won't even kill my devils, which is very cool for me. Not for him, definitely. Uh, he's gonna be playing a bomb skeleton, so this brute will be going down, but not after get, not before getting two hits. So that's that, that's acceptable, I would say. Obviously, I kind of had to sacrifice some of a. Uh, Tower damage in order to achieve that, but it's fine. Also, I didn't expect these twins, so that was a very nice play out of my opponent. Kinda forced me to absolutely overspend on uh, the plays he had done. And that's gonna be a very uh, very successful attack for him, because uh, in modern day and age, 
your attack doesn't have to deal damage, it just has to force out uh, an uncomfortable response out of your opponent, which either messes his hand or mana situation, and either way, it's gonna be pretty much a win for you, because... Um, because if your opponent cannot keep up with uh, those defenses, like if your opponent has a weird hand, he's not gonna be able to defend uh, the next one uh, as well. So I'm gonna uh, just play symmetry here. I'm gonna tank with Brute, and if, I think this is a good moment to just go for a very violent base trade in which I think my opponent doesn't have any chances of survive. Right now, he has two Brutes on his tower, a full cemetery and devils and yeah that's gonna be a very fun uh, game uh, to close this video out because uh, i absolutely dominated migalito gg well played and i think that's gonna be it for today's video if you enjoyed it and watch it till the end make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel if you aren't already i post the boomerino content every single day and you definitely don't want to miss out on my uploads so yeah definitely check it out make sure to subscribe and i'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Warina.